Hello and welcome to Cube Simplified. By now, everyone should be using some or the other tool to create Kubernetes policies. For example, you might be using OPA Gatekeeper or Kiverno, but with Kubernetes 1.26, Kubernetes admission policy can be used natively with Kubernetes feature, alpha feature, declaratively to define your Kubernetes policies. And in this video, we'll be discussing all about that. Before getting started, this video is brought to you by Armo, Commodore, Avesha, Sysdig, Instruct, Namespace, and Slim AI. Do check them out. They support me, so probably you should support them too. So let's get started. Since this is Kubernetes 1.26 feature, so we have to use Kubernetes 1.26 Playground, and Killer Coda recently upgraded their Playground to 1.26. In any scenario, I also had 1.26 Playground on Killer Coda. First, let's try to understand what validating admission policy means. So validating admission policy is Kubernetes 1.26 alpha feature. It has three parts to it, and it is, it is serving as an uh, alternative to validating admission webhooks. And also you don't need to install any third party tooling. So you just need to enable this alpha feature in the, in the API, and then you can use it. To use it, you need to create two resources at minimum, which is the validating admission policy. And the second one is the validating admission policy binding. So validating admission policy is the policy, the actual policy that you want to uh, create. And the binding will be to which resources, which namespaces, which environments you want to bind this particular policy. Uh, another interesting uh, thing is that it can, it is highly customizable and parameterized. So you can actually parameterize the resources and you can uh, create the parameters as well. We'll go through the parameter example as well. Uh, now the failure scenarios. So failure policy would be to either fail, which means that prevents the resource creation or ignore. That means that even if this particular policy fails, the regular process continues. So it basically uses the common expression language, uh, which is the CEL. So this is common expression language and it has given all the specifications and how to use as well. This is the official documentation of validating admission policy and we'll be going through some of the demos to understand it better. So let's understand it in a demo environment. Give CTL, get nodes. So we have um, both the nodes ready. Now again, I'll be using the same repo. So we need to enable these first. So let's go to slash etc kubernetes manifest cube api server and add these so this is standard practice whenever you have to enable any feature gate so you put hyphen hyphen feature gate and then you give the feature the alpha feature that you want to enable second is enabling in the api so you sometimes you have to enable the apis as well for this, the admission plugin is already enabled and will come into place whenever we enable this in the API. So this, we don't have to uh, enable specifically the admission plugin for uh, validating admission policy. So these two should serve our purpose. Now let's create different set of examples. Um, let me clone this repository first. So let's go to example one, obviously we'll go step by step. And now let's look at the policy. So this is the first policy. So we are using API version as admission registration, kh.io v1 alpha one, which we actually enabled as the API. So you can see that. So this is enabled in the API. So this is the uh, CRD that was enabled. Now the kind is validating admission policy. This is the metadata, the usual metadata. In the spec, we define the failure policy. So this is the failure policy. And now you have match constraints. So match constraints have something which is called resource rules. Now here we actually define where we want to apply these particular policies to. So basically this has to be applied. This is the policy for, this is the policy for API groups, apps, V1 
on the operation of create and update of the resource deployment and what is the validation so inside the validation we actually give the expression so this is the uh, common expression language uh, which is like you know understandable easily so you can see in this the expression says the object dot spec dot replicas should be less than equal to five so we can always see kubectl explain deployment dot spec we can see in the deployment dot spec we have something called replicas and same same thing we have used over here so we we saying uh, object which is this object dot spec dot replicas should be less than equal to five so let's apply this policy kubectl apply policy so policy is created now in order to make it uh, you know in in effect we need to create the binding so let's create the binding so this is the validation admission policy binding. So we give in the spec section, we have to define the policy name. So we want to bind this uh, policy name where to match the resources. So this policy has to be applicable to the namespace because we have used namespace selector to the namespace that matches the label environment test. So any namespace that is having environment test will have this policy effective. So let's create that kubectl apply binding binding is created. Uh, what we'll try to do is first we'll try to create kubectl create deploy nginx hyphen hyphen image equal to nginx hyphen hyphen replicas equal to five. This should be created. Now we create replica seven and we give nginx2, this should be created as well because we don't have any label for this particular policy to, um, you know, get affected. So let's label that kubectl label namespace default environment equal to test. So the names, namespace is labeled. Now we try to create a deployment nginx3 with replica 7 and it should fail and it failed so you can see failed expression is object replicas 5 so it is denied request we can actually give a uh, messaging as well like you have you know created a uh, policy here in the policy we can give a messaging as well so that is the example one now you can use you know different examples i have created another set of example here if i go to the policy yaml uh, so it is required label. So basically it says on again on all the deployments, you want to have Sayyam as part of the label. So labels should have Sayyam and the labels should label Sayyam should start with cube. So you should have a label mandatory label Sayyam and it should start with cube. So that is the uh, policy. So let's apply that cube CDL apply hyphen f policy so policy is created uh, then binding we can see the binding so it is required label dot binding policy name is required label which is this and then same this i have kept the same uh, as previous one like any namespace with the test so that we can just use uh, the default namespace that we just labeled so kubectl apply hyphen f binding Binding is created. Now let's see the deployment. So we have this deployment and right now we don't have the label uh, yet. So now before deploying this, uh, let's delete deploy hyphen hyphen all. So we have deleted all the deployments. Uh, so now we have deleted all the deployments and we don't have kubectl get deploy anything in the default namespace. What we'll do is now we'll deploy app.yaml. kubectl apply hyphen f app. So you can see uh, the deployment is invalid because the expression has failed because Siam is not there right now as a label. Now let's uncomment this. kubectl again apply. It will fail because though it has the label, but it doesn't start. Its value doesn't start with cube. Now let's edit it again. And just add cube in front of it. This time our deployment should be created.
So that's how you can actually create custom policies and stuff like that. Um, and you might be wondering like, you know, how I was able to create this particular policy. So if you go to validating uh, admission policy, uh, the documentation page, and if you scroll down at the end, there are certain expressions uh, with examples. So you can see uh, there is an example called starts with. So you can use this particular uh, thing to validate and and so this these are the set of operators uh, which are allowed you you need to have this and this both true for this particular expression uh, you can have or as well so there are different set which is uh, supported so you can read the supported evaluation uh, so i was able to you know read this and make make example just to showcase uh, that you can have different set of policies uh, for your kubernetes workloads Let's go to example three. Now for the third example, I want to showcase the parameter reference, which makes validating admission policy a lot more customizable because you can create your own CRDs and you can watch those or use those as a parameter reference inside the policy. What do I mean by that? Let's have a look. So first of all, uh, there is a policy. Now, according to this validating admission policy, uh, you have a failure policy of fail. You have second thing that is defined called param kind. So here I want to refer to a parameter with API version as rules example.com, which we will create as a CRD, kind as a replica limit, matching deployments, and in the expression where we said object replica is less than a defined number, we can now take this parameter this parameter objects field which is max replicas in this case to match it now let's create this policy first and then let's look at the binding for this so this it's binding again will have a policy name next to this it will have a param reference name this means that a uh, resource has to be created with a name called replica limit test example in the default namespace and then it matches uh, it binds this particular whole policy to the namespace with environment test that we just did for the default namespace now let's actually look at our parameter resource as well so this is the custom resource with api version that we defined in policy with kind that we defined in policy with metadata name that we have defined in the uh, validating admission policy binding and this is the fields max replicas that we are comparing over here so let's apply the binding binding now before creating the parameter resource we obviously need to create the custom resource definition we can obviously check that like you cannot just apply it so apply hyphen f param it will say CRDs are installed first. Uh, so I have created the CRD. So this is how the CRD will look like. Uh, so this is a custom resource definition uh, where group is rules example.com v1 and it is namespace scopes. And we can, you know, see by kubectl get, kubectl get custom rules or custom rule or CR. And uh, we have given the object as max replicas with type integer. Now let's apply the CRD. CRD is applied. Now let's create the param resource. The parameter resource is created. So everything should be in place now. And according to our param parameter resource, which is there, uh, the max replicas allowed are three. So let's create kubectl, create, deploy, nginx, image, nginx, replicas, or image so it says denied request failed expression so expression is failed replicas to done it is getting created so i think that's pretty cool because this gives you a lot of options to customize what you want to do with your you know validating admission policy binding so that gives you a lot of customizations in terms of you can create your own custom resources and watch not watch but uh, 
use them as parameter references in your policy and the binding. These are the three things, uh, validating admission policy, val validating admission policy binding and the uh, parameter reference, which is as param ref. So in the docs, if you directly follow them, uh, then obviously you won't be able to, you know, easily do it because uh, like the CRD creation is missing. Uh, there is a spec with, with S capital and then param ref has, you know, uh, an extra S in it. So a couple of issues, uh, just giving you a hint if you want to contribute to Kubernetes, uh, you can do it right away for this particular thing. Uh, anyways, but you can follow this. I'll put that in the repository. Everything is there in the repository. I put the link in the description of the video. You can try out policies. I try to create any new policies and you do tag me on Twitter as well um, or Mastodon, whatever is fine for you. Uh, so that's where this new feature is exciting because you don't need any additional tooling. You don't need the webhooks. Uh, you can natively use Kubernetes to create policies and enforce them on your Kubernetes namespaces or cluster wide. Um, and with the parameter thing, it is uh, getting more and more customizable, uh, which gives you more power. So that's pretty much it for this particular video. Uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you like this particular new feature of 1.26. Give it a try, give a shout out and, uh, um, you know, uh, try out from the repository. Uh, if you have any other additional examples, do raise a PR to the repo. I uh, would be happy for that. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Share it with your friends. Make sure you like, subscribe, do the standard things. And also make sure to check out uh, Armo, Commodore, Avesha, Sysdig, Instruct, Namespace, and Slim AI. I mean, there are a lot of organizations, um, especially these ones who have been supporting my work. So I think uh, they need the support back uh, from the community as well. I hope you liked the video. Thank you so much and see you in the next one.